What's up, good people? David Taub here from NextLevelGuitar.com. We got Tim Gilberg with us tonight. We got some new info. And uh, we're going to go over quite a bit of information over the next uh, few lessons. We'll be getting a lot of emails and questions about, uh, about recording and doing some basic home recording and what kind of gear do I need and what kind of suggestions and how do you get some good tones and, and all that good stuff. And uh, I thought before we take you through the actual recording process, um, we talk a little bit about the gear, talk a little bit about recording so everybody's on the same page, right? Now, I'm going to tell you some of the things that I do. You might choose a different path, but at least now you'll, you'll have a good benchmark that you can kick off from. Now, when I have to do serious recording, like if I'm recording a demo with a band or if I need to record some songs for a demo or something, that is serious that I'm going to try and take a, and shop or sell or, or something for the band or, or the website, something really, really that I want top notch, I'll just go to a recording studio. Okay. And the reason for that is because the home recording has gotten, the technology has gotten so much better over the years. But I like going to a recording studio because I like leaving it to the experts because it seems to me. I always get a better sound because a lot of times in the recording studios, the rooms just sound better. You know, they're set up to record sound and soundproof, and they have uh, um, um, baffles to, to catch certain frequencies. They have better guitar mics, real expensive uh, microphones in general, and they have all the latest gear and all the latest equipment, a good studio. Um, and. Uh, and they'll be able to do it pretty fast too if they know what they're doing. So I usually go to the experts because the technology changes so fast too, man. If you want to build like a top shelf home recording studio, the, the software is always being updated and there's always the latest piece of gear and equipment to get and it just gets so expensive. You know what I'm saying, Tim? So it's like yeah. some things you gotta... It's like computers, you know, it's two months later, it's half the price and double the features. Yeah, exactly. So some things I like to so-called farm out and that's what I'm doing you know, heavy duty recording. And plus I wanna, if especially if I'm gonna record my guitar and I wanna get a really good sound, I have to really crank my tube amps. And it's nice going into the studio because they have isolation rooms where you could just put your amp and a mic on it, shut the door and make it as loud as you want. And you won't get any bleed through or noise coming from other, uh, if you're playing with some of the other instruments or you wanna have your neighbors banging on your door or, you won't have to put moving blankets over the amp and, and cover it up to try to keep it down. So the studio, the actual recording studio, a good recording studio has another has a lot of good features and you end up could end up saving money in the end. That said, however, I do do home recording uh, for some things and I do suggest if you want to get your guitar playing to the next level, um, you have to be able to record yourself in some way and it really, really helps. And you're gonna find your playing grows by leaps and bounds. Having the ability to do some recording and now the technology has gotten so good and it's fairly inexpensive. Um, if you have a, com a, a decent computer, you could pretty much, and a, a set of monitors, so to speakers, you could pretty much you know, record some pretty cool sounds. Um, and I'm going to show you a unit that I bought and that I do a lot of recording with at home. And for, for the guitar player, it's great to record yourself because, first of all, if you like to write music, you know, ideas escape you quickly. You know, it's like I'm always trying, I'm always noodling around. I find a cool riff and then I try to recreate it. I'm like, what was, I'm always, what was that riff? Jeez, I can't get it just right. This way, have a nice little recording setup. Just bang, get the software pulled up lay it down, you got it forever. Um, uh, so it's a nice way to capture your ideas. It's a nice way to create jam tracks, to practice your lead playing and improvisation over in all different keys, because you can record in all different keys. It's a great way to record yourself and critique your, your playing, right? So having the ability to record is almost like a must, you know, if you really want to get to that next level, it's so important. Pretty much everyone has a computer now, and all you really need is, a, is some type of interface, something that you could plug your uh, guitar into, and then from the interface into your computer. Okay, so your computer can understand that guitar signal, all right? And then, um, and then obviously you want to get a nice pair of speakers, a nice pair of monitors. I'll show you the ones I have in a minute, because you don't want to just use your computer speakers. 
Um, or if you have a, a laptop, you certainly don't want to use the speakers in there, you know, those tiny little speakers. You want something with a little bit of weight, some decent magnets, because you want to hear it. It has to sound good. You want it to motivate you and empower you. And you want to be like, man, that sounds so good. So you definitely want to get a good set of monitors. The interface that I like, that I use, is this one. And I'll take you on a close-up of this, too. Um, this one has a few more features. You could just get a real stripped down version and now you can get them cheap used because the technology is getting better and better. So the older ones, you could get an interface 30, 50 bucks used on Craigslist or eBay. Um, this is actually a, a, a unit made by Line 6 called Toneport. And I like this for uh, several different reasons. Um, it's, it's a UX2 by Toneport. And here are some of the things that I like that this has. It has two XLR inputs, okay, for microphones, which is really, really nice to have two of them. You, they also make this unit, and a lot of units come with one input, but it's nice to have two in case you want to mic an amp, have vocals going. And it also has, they have two preamps. So there's two um, gain, individually controlled uh, uh, knobs for each one, which is a nice feature. And you're plugging your guitar or your microphone into this device, and then this device, I'll show you on the back, you're going to go, this has a USB connector where you go right into your computer. It also has a phantom power switch, which is important, which is nice too, because the higher end microphones, you need that phantom power um, to power the microphone. Otherwise, if you don't have this and you have a higher end microphone, then you have to get a separate box to power it. Um, and then it has the quarter inch high and low inputs for guitars uh, or bass, quarter inch inputs, has two, two dual meters. And it has a, a, a plug for headphones, which is nice because sometimes, you know, if you're recording late at night or in your bedroom, you can just plug in the headphones. And it has a separate volume control for the headphones, which is a nice feature, as well as an overall uh, level or output um, so you can control how loud uh, it's coming out of the speakers. It has analog outs, okay, which basically we take those and I'll run those to my powered speakers, which I'll show you a uh, quarter inch. Okay, um, here's my USB connector. So you, I'm going to go right from the USB connector, the out, right into the computer. And I'll show you how I hook that up. Has foot switches, uh, quarter inch foot switches. So in case you want to click on a certain effect or click it off or whatever, while you're recording, you could do it with your foot. It has line inputs too. Now you don't, I mean, this has a lot of bells and whistles, but it's not a really expensive unit. This whole unit, which also came, came with the software, a stripped down version of, of Ableton uh, was under $200, well, $195. It's probably, it's probably even cheaper today. Yeah. Probably you can get it used for $125. The, the, they also make this in a smaller version, about three quarters of size, with like just one XLR input, one meter. Again, think of your application or how you're going to be using this. I just wanted, like Tim asked me, why did I choose this particular model? Because obviously the market is inundated with choices. Well, basically, I just want something very, and believe it or not, this is pretty stripped down. I only want something, this is, you know, I could just hook up to my PC, and in fact, I could just throw this in my laptop, yeah, in my laptop, and take it with me if I want to record somewhere. Um, and I just wanted something basic that I could use just to record ideas, record jam tracks, layer some stuff. It's just some basic home recording I could do jam tracks or whatever record stuff put it on the website I could record song ideas give it to my bandmates things like that for 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 for, for that something like this is perfect because I I wanted something for the PC where I can um, um, just hook in hook out hook up a pair of speakers and very basic the industry standard pretty much now for rec recording is Pro Tools and you could get Pro Tools for your PC and they make home editions of Pro Tools too but again, it's a pretty intense program. Yeah, I heard you got to learn that. You got to really learn it. I see ads on Craigslist for people who, who are teaching it. Teaching so it, right. It can't be that. And you got to have a pretty powerful computer almost yeah. dedicated to it. And it's a great program. When I go into the studio and record a lot, a lot of times I'll use the Pro Tools. It's very easy. And the software that this came with, um, Pro Tools is the industry standard. But there's other good software. Because obviously you're going to need some software on your computer to be able to do the recording. And uh, this came with the Ableton, a version, not the full version, but a, a version, a kind of stripped down version of Ableton Lite. Ableton's a pretty big name in recording software. Another good one is like Sonar or Cakewalk, something like those. Those again are all good programs. Um, 
So usually I wanted to buy one that just had everything. This came with the software. I didn't want to have to go buy this, then you go get buy it. You bundled, you'll have less headaches. Exactly. So if you just want something stripped down, you get some basic. Spend, you know, 150 bucks brand new. How could you beat that? You get the interface and the software, man. I mean, that's a pretty good deal. Load it up on your computer, you'll be recording pretty quickly. If you have a pair, get a, get a pair of powered speakers too.